All right, guys, this is how my Raspberry Pi look like. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a minute, how to have it the same way as me. I have 92 wheels available, all working, and all Hyperlisk standard. So that means if your runs doesn't match with the Hyperlisk, they're not gonna show. So you have to make sure they all name correctly. And you can see on the bottom right that I, you know, the, the amount of rounds that I have available at 200. So all the wheels are working fine. This is, I got it from Ray, from Ray Image. So I just rename everything to be Hyperlist Standard. Also my team right here, I'm gonna show you how to add that too. This is a uh, blue blue motions. I just um, fix it a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how to do all this right now. Okay, on the file that I provide, you're gonna get the, uh, once you open it up, you're gonna get these files right here, plus the run list right here. So what you gotta do with those files, you're gonna drop and drop. So we're gonna go, you're gonna log in on your Raspberry Pi. You're gonna go home. And then we're gonna go to the add drop folder, which is right here. So what you can do is just wrap all these files right here. You know the one on this folder, which is five files. Right, this one right here plus that one. So you can just grab. You can just grab those files and drop it over there. But I'm not gonna do it because I already have it. So just drop it there, and it's gonna overwrite everything. But uh, like I said, it's gonna override everything, so you're gonna have a whole bunch. All the all the same stuff that I show you now, you're gonna have it on yours. So if you don't have those rounds or you don't like that, whatever, you can just do it manually, or you can just do drop everything and then just disable whatever menu you don't like. So once you do that, once you drop everything in this location right here, that's gonna give you a new run list. That's gonna give you emulators. I mean, yeah, emulators for the hack king, which I provide those too. And that's about it. You just drop it there, and then we can go back to your. You can just restart your your Raspberry Pi, and it should go back. And you know, once you boot up, it should be everything the same way that I have it here. Because that that's if you copy the atrap.cfag file. If you didn't copy that file over, then you're gonna have to enable the the team manually. So in order to do that, you're gonna press uh, Y or whatever you have to press on your remote. Then we're gonna go to display. We're gonna go all the way up because now we're gonna have a whole bunch of display there. You don't wanna go through each one. And we're gonna go to display menu. And as you can see, it's motion, motion plus. You're gonna, you're gonna look for motion plus. But I already have it there, like I said. Then you can go to layout options. And I included different backgrounds too. Cause yeah, now right now I have this one, so you can just change it to black, black man. Or you can use the you know the motion blue default theme too. So let's try the black. And as you can see now, it's just black in the background. And also one more thing, if you want to remove the bezel outside too, you just go to display. Okay, layout. And this we got a gray, so let's just change it to none. And there you have it. Okay, that's how you do it guys.